people of the world, Matthew back with you here on Overall Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Shovel Knight. So, last time, we successfully defeated the sixth member of the Order of No Quarter and a traitor to Shovel Knight known as Polar Knight. But, now that we have dealt with Polar Knight, we have another new challenger out on the map. And he's actually taken up residence in one of the spots of the home of a Knight of the Order of No Quarter. So, let's go pay this new challenger a visit. And so, as the sun sets... Lightning flashes. What magic is this? Yes, this is the Phantom Striker. Power, honor, the traits of a respectable warrior. Sir, I don't believe we've met. We meet today on the field of battle. We have both defeated many knights and traveled far. Today we fight. Stand aside, you and I have no reason to battle. Conflict is a reason unto itself, brave knight. Today you will be tested. Are you ready? And so, here we go. Our next challenger. He moves slowly, but he carries this big stick that casts lightning. But, if you get in the right spot, you can actually cast, get a lot of damage on this guy, especially as he's dispelling the lightning that he can possess and absorb in his sword. But then he'll start doing this crazy move. Yeah, just basically scattering a whole bunch of lightning all over the place. Ooh. But we've almost got him. And down he goes. Yeah, he's actually one of the easier fights of the challengers that you fight out in the field. Is the Phantom Soldier, but... No, the Phantom Striker, sorry. <laughs> ha! I've been bested, but barely. You still need training to overcome what lies ahead. Farewell, Shovel Knight. How did you know my name? I guess my reputation must precede me. And as a parting gift, he leaves me a whole bunch of... What gems that only cost one point each. I don't know why. <laughs> that, but that's strange to me. Anyway, before we continue on to our next member of the Order of No Quarter, we still have a music sheet to give over to the Bard. So, let's give him the music that he requires. And as always, he's excited as ever. And we have two to give him. So, now that we've taken care of that, I think this is a good opportunity for me to go ahead and get my magic boosted even more. 3,400 there. Yeah, let's keep going. 4,000. I'm gonna save the rest of my gold for now. But as it stands right now, I have to say, well, before I go, how odd does this look? This maiden here, who seems to have four eyes, like, th that is just bizarre to me. And that's Molly. <laughs> yeah, I have a pretty face, well, compared to you? <laughs> Wow. I mean, I make it a point not to try and offend women at all, but it's like, what were the designers thinking when they decided to give that woman four eyes? That makes no sense whatsoever. So, anyway, it's time for us to move on because there's still two more members of the Order of No Quarter who await us. So, next up, we're going to the Clockwork Tower, Lair of Tinker Knights. Dig in, because there's plenty of room for desserts. And as you can see, Shovel Knight is so amazing, he even phases through walls. <laughs> so, let's take it on here at the Clockwork Tower. One of the big things you need to worry about in this place are the mechanical mice. Because, yeah, you hit them once, they get disabled, but then they keep going. And for some reason, you can't hit them while they're down. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought... In my past experiences, you couldn't hurt them while they were temporarily disabled. But that's just me. And as you can see, yeah, the, these mice, they're very loyal. <laughs> so loyal, they're even willing to do what the wolves were doing in Polar Knight stage and kamikaze themselves, all for <laughs> doing the bidding of their master Tinker Knight. Yeah, these guys are quick. Watch out for the red gears here, being summoned by these magicians. And as you can see, we now have a pink gem that is in a very precarious spot. But we got it. And 
now we have to worry about these gold gears because, yeah, you can't knock them back. You pretty much are forced to take the hit. But what we can do here is jump up and get ourselves access to a ladder. So let's go up and see what we find. It's a treasure chest. Now, as I mentioned before, we cannot knock these gears over, but we can pogo on them. So let's do that and follow this thing all the way to the end. And get our hands on the spoils. Now we gotta make our way back. Yeah. Gotta do it once, then you gotta do it twice. Now this time we have to go down. And we do see another opportunity to go fishing, so let's take advantage of it. Cast the fishing rod down into the pit, and let's see what we get this time. And it's a trouple! What trouble Icor will I get? It's another Icor of Fortune. And onward we go to the next area. As you can see, we have the return of the ghosts from um I think it was Plague Knight stage where those like where those ghosts were appearing. But yeah, these things are a pain in the ass. Now you have to deal with these moving. I don't know if you would necessarily call these pistons, but they do serve a similar purpose to pistons and the fact that they keep going up and down, essentially working in perfect mechanical manner. Hopefully we can get that checkpoint before we get killed, thankfully that's what happens. Plus I also want the treasure you're holding, just because it's on my mind and it's something I want to do. And thankfully, we get another chicken. Ow! Yeah, these guys with the masks here, with the welding masks, they can either shoot their gears high or they can shoot them low. And I didn't want to go up there just yet because, well, I want to see what gems you can give me. And then we want to go where you were standing. <coughs> because as you can see, another sheet of music is in play. Use the flare one to eliminate the ghost. And we're going to go down. And then up. Just because I consider this safer, but not necessarily smarter. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, well, guess, I guess we're gonna have to do it the other way around next time. Yeah, you never know which way these guys are gonna go with their gears. So, we got rid of him. Now, this time, we're gonna see if we can go high. Oops. I hate when I mess up my knowledge of the controls like that. I'm gonna wait for these platforms to come back together and then... Safe. Alright, take care of you. Now we'll deal with the three bags of money that I lost. There we go, all is right with the world. And up the ladders, but be careful because yeah, Got flying missiles here. But I really want to get access to that ladder. And up we go. Yeah, because of course, another passage here. Or another ghost, too. But it was worth it. Which way is the missile gonna come? Okay, it was gonna come from the back. And we're just gonna leave that one alone. Because, yeah, what's the point? He's already put himself in a position where he can't hurt us. And I rather... Well, I'll take you out just because. In fact, I should be using the Dust Knuckle to beat you up. Yeah, that really is the best way to deal with that. So let's go this way. So yeah, you're probably wondering, how the heck am I going to get all this stuff that's on the bottom? Well, once we get far enough you'll have the answer. Because once we slide over here, and go this way, yeah, it's another blue treasure chest, which means we're gonna get to once again meet up with Chester, who this time gives us the mobile gear for 3,000 gold. Ride over hazards and reach high places. Hop on and hold on. And so yeah, here's where a place is used for it. Because yeah, you can't quite make that jump. So the mobile gear gives you just a little extra bit of height to get you to where you need to go. And that's not the only thing you can do. Imagine you being able to dodge hazards, well, yeah, you see it automatically, thanks to the AI, jumps over pits. 
and even rise over spice so you don't take damage from them. So, dust knuckles again. Punch right through ya. Onto our next area. And once again, we see more pistons in use. And I almost suicided myself. Just wanna wait for the right opportunity for a platform to appear, and then away we go. Yeah, this, this is a pretty tricky spot here. As you can see, yeah, that, that is not for the weak at heart, ever. All right, here we go again. All right, just because I don't want to dirty my hands with you and I missed that ladder. Wait for you to shoot your gear and then charge. Wait for you to harmlessly go over my head. And yeah, those things are crazy. Not as crazy as the flying missiles. <laughs> yeah, look out. All right. Once again, I have the dust knuckles in tow. So punch right through you. All right, back to this area. Wait for the opportunity to launch. Now, oh, yeah, we really should have seen that coming. All right, try it again. Yeah, this. Yeah, if it hasn't become clear that this is really starting to get into the hard part of the game, it's pretty clear now. Alright, clear you away. Take an intentional hit from the missile. Yeah, I'm pretty much being forced to always take intentional hits from missiles now. Yeah, this, this don't mess around no more. Ah, couldn't quite get through them completely. Alright, just because I want the delicious food, wait to come back, then, yeah, they put it in such a way that I can't possibly get to it. Yeah, I mean, look, look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Like, Matt, just give up on it. It's not worth it. Just give up on trying to reclaim the treasure. It's not worth it. It's costing you more gold to try and get it than it is if you just give up. Yeah, at one point, common sense really has to be utilized here, because I'm not using it at all. Alright, let's do this again. Now, march on, no hesitation. That's what I should have done from the beginning. So before we go and commit suicide again. Yeah, apparently I don't care if I live or die. I am indeed that kamikaze. Can I touch it? Is it even worth it? No, it's not. But before I go over there, might as well go over here, up this ladder. Because yeah, there's a sheet of music over here. And this is an instance, again, where the mobile gear can be used. And for nothing else to stand as an initial standpoint. And then to use it again, to get this sheet of music. Use it again. Get ourselves back over. And since I'm not wanting to take any risks, so it's a temporary platform. And now we can continue. But yeah, that, that it was intelligence not well utilized. So, onward we go. Now this time, we have essentially auto-scrolling. And we got to deal with crazy, cute crazy ghosts. And we got to make this quick transition in order to get ourselves to safety and continue on. 
now these knights are going to make their presence known because the auto stolen pushes them onto the field of battle. And that's not what I am necessarily looking for. Gonna make ourselves safe at all costs. Alright. Out of, out of sight, out of mind, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, they're down. Get this next checkpoint. And then jump over those two gears. And let's just try and bomb rush through them. Because, yeah, in this instance, they're not giving me a choice because they're completely blocking the path. Get them open here, get some more chicken. Let's go ahead and use the flare wand to my advantage. Again, down. And as we can see, there's another opportunity to get 200 gold, so I'm gonna try and take advantage of it. Well, at least we move the blocks. So hopefully they're not there th next time round. Alright. So now let's go after... Well, first we're gonna get rid of you. This time I'm just gonna go old school. And so far, old school isn't working. I'm flunking at old school. Treasure gained, and as we can see, more treasure to be gained, but only if we avoid this set of crazy six, crazy set of six gears, plus another fishing spot. I don't know how my fishing rod is not getting damaged, quite honestly. And it's another gold fish. Well, slowly but surely, I am regaining my totals from before. Transition, perfect. And that's as good as we could do. Alright. Plus, at the end, another sheet of music. So we'll take the easy thing, which is the sheet of music. Now, how to get rid of you guys. Yeah, because you can't quite get up there with the mobile gear. It's not top gear, but it works just as well. Yeah, can you believe that, um, they got, um... That they got rid of Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear. That like I wasn't happy to see that, cause Jeremy Clarkson is by far and away the funniest was by far and away the funniest personality on that show. And because he was the most experienced driver out of all three of the co-hosts, he pretty much won almost every race that there was to may have. And of course, was never afraid to let him the others, Richard Hammond and James May, know just how good of a driver he was. And that's a shame that they got rid of Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear. Not happy about that. And I'm also not happy about this auto-scrolling, because especially since it's vertical, and you run the very high risk of getting yourself knocked off, because, yeah, there is no safety down there. If you die, you, if you fall too far, you die. And also, I die if I run out of health, which is a very real possibility, as it stands right now. I keep myself in safety as much as possible. Transition over. Get these gem. Get these gems. Thankfully, they slow these pistons down. And thankfully, it stops here. There we go. Onward. So before we continue on, knock this over. Get the chicken. Then we have to use this little device to create our passage that will allow us to get to the last checkpoint and meet up with Tinker Knight. And it looks like we've, yeah, we've disrupted him from doing his work. Ah! Did you make all that noise? I can't think straight. I have so much work to do. Just work on letting me pass, little friend. <laughs> oh, big words, Tin Man. I'll show you a thing or two. So yes, it's time for a fight with Tinker Knight and his boomerang wrench. Thankfully, because I'm at full health, I get myself a little bit of advantage here. Ow! That is now gone. But hey, I certainly got quite a bit of a head start on Tinker Knight here. But yeah, he, all he does is just run around and throw his boomerang wrench. He'll stumble sometimes because he's a bit of a goof nut, and sometimes he'll just go into panic mode. <laughs> panic station, to be exact. But if you thought we beat him, well... You'd be wrong. Yeah, because if you thought it was just Tinker Knight and his little boomerang wrench, well... Suddenly... 
we're playing Mega Man, and he's in his very own Dr. Wily machine. So, you're probably wondering, how do we get to him? Well, we start by jumping on three, those three missiles, and then you have to time it just so that you can land on Tinker Knight while not getting hit by his fireballs. Yeah, this is a mechanical nightmare, and Tinker Knight has proven himself to be quite the maniac mechanic. I mean, if this, if this machine is any indication... But in actuality, Tinker Knight is one of the easiest fights of the Order of No Quarter. You can stay on his platform and keep naming him like this. Victory is pretty much yours. I mean, look how just easy... look how easy he is. And so as a result of that victory, I would say that Tinker Knight is officially dismantled. Even with his maniacal Dr. Wily-esque machine, he still couldn't beat me, and victory is mine. And so, onward we go. That's seven members of the Order of No Quarter down. So, after making a complete fool of myself in the middle part of that stage, the rest of it went along pretty smoothly, I do have to say. And so, there's only one member left of the Order of No Quarter. So, you naturally know what's gonna happen. We fight him in the next episode, but before we do, more music to give to the Bard. And as usual, he is jumping for joy. And this time we have three music sheets for him. We found the Schemer, among other works. So yeah, how many is that now that we've given the Mr. Bard? So far, we have given him 23 out of 46. That's half the total. That's pretty good. I do have to say. And I'm thinking... I'm, I'll, we'll want to increase my magic again, but I'll leave that for another time. Um, I want to go back to the Trouble King and get some more Ichor off of him. Hey there, Trouble King. Amy, please. With an Ichor of Renewal. Because I'll certainly need it where I'm going. Because the last stage for the Knights of the Order of the No Quarter is the toughest of them all. And it's going to take place in the skies. So next time, we're going to see what a medieval flying airship looks like. So with that, I want to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Shovel Knight. And when I join you again next time, we're gonna go Final Fantasy as we take on the last member of the Order of the No Quarter, Propeller Knights. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.